Hey y'all, so I just wanted to talk a little bit right now about my hair and like other other stuff. Okay. Um it just like the hair is natural. Why is the hair straight? Why are you wearing curly and a natural type like a lot of girls' hair on YouTube? Why does she use flat iron in her hair? Well, I wear my hair in the curly afro type, like, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what to call it, but styles quite a few times, but sometimes I don't because, like, it affects me, and I know you guys wonder, like, what do you mean it affects you? Like, it seriously affects me. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys why it affects me. When I wash my hair... And I dry it. I just want to comb it out. You know, I want to comb my hair out. Okay, when I comb my hair out, it hurts a little. It, it's really, 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 really thick. My hair is really, really thick. Especially in the middle part. And then, it's thick. And then when I comb it out, it hurts like hell. It's like I'm torturing myself. Like, it hurts so bad that... It makes me want to cry, not like boo-hoo and all that mm, noise and all that stuff. It's like a tear when I fall out my eye. Like, the last time I combed my hair, it was like, it hurt it so bad. Because I let my hair stay in the afro for like a day and a half. And then when I wanted to comb it out, it took me literally two hours to comb my hair out. And it takes a long time to comb my hair out any time I do my hair. Not like if it's straight, but like when I wash it or any time when it's curly. And you guys have seen my hair like in a curly fro before um, in my natural texture. But it's like when I comb my hair out, it takes two hours to comb my hair out. It shouldn't take somebody that long to comb my hair out. But the reason why it takes long to take, I mean, it takes long for me to comb it out is because it hurts. That's the number one reason why it hurts. Like, it hurts. Like, I, I can take pain, but it's something about my head. Like, if I have a headache, it hurts. Like, I can't take headaches. When I get headaches, it, I just start being a bitch. And then when my hair hurts, it's, like, even worse because it's going to end up keep hurting after I finish combing it out because I just did all that combing on my hair for so long. The hair is, and my hair is going to be, um... What do you call it? It's going to be, um, sensitive and, you know, hurting for like a while. Because I didn't did all that combing on it. And then, it takes too long to comb it out. And then, it hurts so bad. And that's why I do not do my hair like that. All the time. Only sometimes, but not all the time. And, why I use a flat iron in my hair? I know a lot, a lot, a lot of girls on YouTube with natural hair, don't use flat irons in the hair. I use it on my hair because it keeps me from going through that pain. It keeps me from doing, having to go through that pain and suffering. Because I'm like making myself suffer combing my hair out. It's like, my hair is not like every other girl on YouTube with natural hair. My hair is not. Their hair might be good. To, their hair might be um easy to comb out, but mine's not. It's like really not. And then, what else? Everybody here is not the same. It really is not. It's not the same. So, I'm like, what can I do? I'm not about to keep making myself go through this pain for what? So, I flat irons my hair. And, and I like my hair straight sometimes. My hair is natural, but it's just not the, you know, curly type at the time. But it will go that way when I wash my hair. It may be straight most of the time, but it's not even stay straight. You see how wavy it is right now? It's starting to get wavy. It doesn't stay that way all the time. And then, when I wash my hair, it doesn't be straight. So, it's like, <sighs> and then when I flat iron my hair, it takes a while to flat iron my hair because it's so thick. And I hate going through that, too. It's like, yeah, everybody likes my hair. I like my hair, too. But... Don't nobody know what I go through to get my hair to look in a decent way. You know, a decent way for me to have my hair a certain kind of way looking nice.
the yeah, I just don't know what I go through. Pain and tired and I be sometimes I be up until like one or two or something o'clock in the morning doing my hair. Cause it takes so long. Like it really takes long to do my hair. And I don't trust people with my hair, so I'm not gonna go to the shop to get my hair done. So I does it myself. And then my arms get tired and all bad, just like bad. So it's like that's why I keep my hair straight. It's natural, but I do my hair the way I want to do it, you know. I keep my hair straight because it's hard for me to comb it out when I need to comb it out. Because, like, it seems like if I was to keep my hair in a curly texture kind of, like, way, like a lot of girls on YouTube do, for a long time and then want to wash it out when it, I wash it out it's going to get even more nappy and get mattered and when I comb my hair out a whole bunch of hair going to come out I already know because I'm not even about to do that I already know my hair going to come out because it's just going so I'm not going to do that okay so off that subject me and my mom was talking about hair one day looking at YouTube and you know it's a lot of females on YouTube with natural hair a lot of females starting to be natural. A lot of females cutting their hair, the big chop, and becoming natural. Because they didn't used to put perms in their hair, so they want to become natural because they see all these females natural on YouTube. Now, when me and my mom was talking, I'm like, she got me thinking, like, I see all these females on YouTube with natural hair. How come I don't see no, no females in real life with natural hair? All I see is weave this, weave that, Remy hair that, and all this, and short hairstyles, and this and that. Like, where the hair, where the natural hair girls at? They all on YouTube? Like, I don't see them. Are they, are they like, in a different state or something? Because I live in California. And you know it's all about fake stuff, fake people, and wannabe Barbies and all that stuff. Like, that Barbie stuff is, cut it out. You know, ain't nobody no Barbie. Like, what the heck? It's like, it's so many girls that be trying to sell Barbies and you ugly as a rat or something. And all I see is weaves. Weaves. Like, all I see is weaves. And, um, I don't see no natural hair girls. If, 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 if you, if you, um, understand what I'm saying, if you think that you feel the same way, let me know. Like, am I the only person that just see natural hair girls on YouTube and not in real life? Because I really think that's true. Like, I don't, I can't, I can never say, okay, I know this one girl. She's probably natural. I think she is natural. But I don't know. I really don't know about her hair. So, but that's just one person. I see all these girls on YouTube with natural hair. And I don't see nobody in person with natural hair. I don't get it. Like. So many people with natural hair and I don't see them. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Then, another thing. Um, it's kind of hard to give people advice on hair. Or like what they should do and what they should use on hair. On their hair because. Well, it's like something was like crawling on my. Right here. <laughs> but, like, it's hard for me to give advice on to people to tell them what they can do to their hair or what they should do to their hair or what they use, should use in their hair. All I can do is give y'all tips, give y'all advice, tell y'all what I use on my hair to see if it work on yours because everybody is different. Don't nobody look alike unless you twins. And sometimes twins don't even look exactly alike. There's always something different about a twin. Everybody's different. Everybody got a different finger, different toes, different arms, different head, different face, different nose, eyes, and all that stuff. Different hair. Everybody's hair is not the same. For example, me and my sister, you guys know that we got totally, totally different, 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 out of this world, extremely different type of hair. Like, her hair is no way like mine. My hair is no way like hers. I don't even know where I got my hair from. My hair is not like my mom's. My hair is not like my dad's. I don't know. Could have been, you know, inherited from my grandma's side of the family because way back in the days you know, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of hard for me to tell people to use this on their hair. So that's why I always in my videos I say what I use on my hair. But I always say that you can find something or use something that you know will work on your hair. I never, never, never 
say, oh, we should use this. We should use this. And then when I used to use that MTG on my sister's hair, people would ask, is it good? I was like, you can try. You can try it. But I'm not going to say that it's going to work on your hair. You know? So, it's like, what can you do? Can't nobody tell somebody to use this because it's going to work. You don't know if it's going to work for that person because you don't really even know what that person's hair like, look like. Some people don't have pictures on YouTube. People, the people, don't, the person that asks you the question don't really tell you about how their hair is. They might do. They might tell you what kind of type of, oh, my hair is this and that and that and this. And you can't just go tell them to you use this. This will work good on your hair, girl. You know, you better use this on your hair because I know it will work. It works for my hair. It will work for yours. I can't tell nobody that because I don't know. So, I'm not going to be sitting on YouTube and telling people what they should use on their hair. All I can do is tell you what I use, and you can try it. Try it out and see if it works for you. That's all. That's all I can do. I'm not going to tell nobody to take something and put it on their hair because it's going to work. I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Just wanted to get that off my chest, say a little bit of things, you know. Not nothing bad because, like, it was just stuff I was thinking about. None, nobody asked me these things that I just talked about. It's just, I just end up thinking about it, you know, because I have a feeling that people are probably thinking, like, if her hair is natural, then why is her hair always flat on her? Why is her hair always straight? And when I use, I put my hair straight, I don't use no perms in my hair. I don't use that, because I don't even trust that stuff in my hair. And then, I don't use a pressing comb, because I burned my hair off with that before. Like, I cried, because I, I burned so much off my hair. Like, it was, I looked at the comb, the pressing comb. And I just seen a whole bunch of my hair on the comb, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God, I just start crying. <laughs> but, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys today, like a little video. Um, I had got, like, somebody hit me up on, I don't know what it was, I think MySpace. Saying, girl, you should show your boyfriend on YouTube. Would you guys like to see my boyfriend? I think you guys would, but... I'm trying to make a video. I will make a video one day with him. I made. I tried to make one one day, but he didn't want to get on it. Whatever. But one day I will get him to make a video, and I will post it on there. Um. So that's pretty much it. Unless I find something else to talk about. Um. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Check you out, girl.